Hello, church. The coronavirus came so fast, it seems our lives were radically changed almost overnight. There was little time to be proactive, only reactive. The epidemic quickly became a pandemic. Not only has it been fast, it's been far-reaching. You can't get on a plane and get away from it. It may be on the plane and in the airport and in the very place you've gone to escape it. Now, we know that God loves us. He loves his people. He loves the church. But what about, what about the rest of them? Where does he stand concerning the world? There are a lot of voices out there speaking today. Some of them are telling us that this is God's judgment, his judgment on the Jews or the gays or the Catholics or the Protestants or, or even the world. Well, here's what I know. It's the most important thing. It's the most truthful thing. It's the most comforting thing. I can tell you in two minutes or two lifetimes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God has not turned away. He's not lost control. He's not lost interest in this world. He's still the God of John 3.16, the God who sent Jesus the God who promises eternal life. God has too much invested in this planet to abandon it. I've been looking for the good in this situation, and there's actually a lot. But the greatest good would be that people would recognize how fragile life can be, that all this is temporary. Nothing is certain. Not wealth, not fame, not family, not health, not even life itself. But God has a provision that is bigger than all this. God has a promise of eternal life. God has a son, and his name is Jesus. And whosoever believes in him, trust in him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. If there was ever a time to know Jesus and to make him known to others, it is surely now. Let's pray. Father, I thank you today that we have such a glorious hope, a hope that suspends the parameters of here and now, of time and space, of sickness and death, a hope that stretches into the never-ending and the ever lasting. And my prayer today, Lord, is that all of us can say, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. God bless.